all right guys i hope you're all doing well thank you for joining in this is mb today let's talk about a uh, three tier django app in three seconds yes you heard right three tier django app in three seconds what i've done is uh, this is the repository where um, i have prepared a three tier django uh, docker compose app so you have the, your django here you have nginx postgres well that, let me just show you where it is i have cloned the repository here so i'm inside the repository what I'm going to do here is docker minus compose up minus D, right? So let's say 5105040302, right? So okay, 59, 58, 57, and it's done. All right, so here we go. So typically what happens in a regular monolithic server environment, what happens is it uh, deploying a Django app, uh, especially if you're a newbie, uh, it takes uh, more than a day or at least a shift. And even if you, let's say, uh, you look at some, some of the cloud service providers, you upload your code, you try to run it, um, and it takes more than three seconds for sure. So if you dockerize your applications, uh, this is the kind of uh, flexibility that you're gonna get. I can bring it down if you like. Docker Compose down, the app is down. Okay, and Docker Compose up, minus D. The app is up, right? That's it, I mean, as you can see here, 8,000 port is exposed. Okay, so if you're wondering uh, where the hell am I getting this um, Docker lab, okay, it's a free lab, you can go to labs.play-with-docker.com there. You can just spin up some instances and you know, just for your lab activity learning purposes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something. Okay, how much, okay, so since I've already built these images, it's gonna take three seconds. What if I want to build those images? Okay, here, if you go to my repository, let's check that. Okay, we're gonna rebuild these images. I'm gonna paste this here, all right. So, okay, I've already started. First, let me go ahead and bring it down. Control C, bringing it down, bringing it down, down. Okay. So it is down, right? So up hyphen D, hyphen hyphen build. So I'm gonna rebuild. It's so, okay, 06, 4904, 03, 0201. Here we go. Let's see how many seconds does it take to rebuild a three-tier Django app. It shouldn't take much, let's see. 10 seconds, probably a minute or something, that's it. Okay, so it's um, building wheel. Okay, it deployed the containers now. What it's doing is for my Django app, I have requirements.txt. It is installing them. Uh, let me bring up my Adam here. Okay, so, uh, okay. Well, let me, let's wait for it to complete and we can see what all is happening. Okay, so using pip, it's installing all the packages which are mentioned in requirements.txt. Okay, it's done. Uh, how much it is, like a minute, two minutes? I think it's a minute or something, right? So that is still an awesome day. I mean, compare a shift uh, to a monolithic environment where you physical, you bring three physical servers there, uh, install operating system on them, you do all the networking stuff, right? And then you install uh, the packages, deploy these applications, connect them and make them work. All that stuff. I'm pretty sure it will take more than one man, one person. Uh, but here, it just, you know, you get your code, deploy it in, in a minute. Building takes a minute. Deploying takes three seconds. That is just amazing to me. Okay, let's let's say let me go back to the let me show you what's the code looks like here. Bring up my Adam. Where is my Adam? Okay, so uh, this is my Django app. Uh, have the Django app code here. Okay, so yeah, right. You know the Django app structure. It's just hello world. That's it. Not even hello world. Uh, boilerplate template of Django app. You have the Docker file here, right? So I mean, setting up all the environment variables. Um, using the Python Alpine image, you know, to exposing port 8000, installing all the stuff that is there in the requirements. 
txt this is the django app this is a nginx uh, app a docker file is there uh, so what i'm doing is while building the docker image from the docker file i'm copying this configuration right because i want to point out where all the static files are located and then i have the postgres uh, uh, image which is available docker uh, let's look at the compose file so in the compose file i have created a volumes so there is a, a volume where django apple is located then you have static volume i have created for static files for media files there's one more uh, location and this is shared with here nginx because uh, when you do um, let me go back to my browser here when you do write a docker compose exec django app inside the chat inside this you want to run command let you do make migrations and you migrate and you, you know uh, collect static files and all that right so you want to have shared volumes rather than you know copying stuff from nginx uh, from django app container to your nginx container okay let me go back to adam again Adam, Adam, Adam. Okay, so this is your Nginx configuration, uh, network web. Okay, so this network, I have created two networks. One is network web and network DB. Uh, DB connects uh, from Django app container to Postgres DB container. So there is no connection, uh, there is no traffic going to your Nginx. And then for N just for Nginx and Django app to talk, I have a network web and that is connecting your nginx and django app so there's a good network separation right so port binding so here are the three volumes very simple app guys so if at all you want to use it for your own django app let's say you have your own django stuff just replace this and wherever django app appears in my code replace those lines as well in fact you can create a shell script where after replacing it it just uh, will go ahead and replace all the references to Django app and we refer references to your app. So this is how, um, you know, all the major cloud like AWS, DigitalOcean, our, uh, our, my own IBM, GCP, this is how they are doing in the background when they are deploying your app. So they have their, you know, own boilerplate template. Uh, when you upload your code, they just replace this folder, Django app, let's say you replace your uh, Django app code, they just replace this folder and wherever it, that has been Django app has been referenced in like Docker file, this file or here, that will get replaced with your uh, name, whatever the project name is or the folder name is. That's what is happening in the background. That's it, right? So yeah, uh, that's all I had. If you have, uh, I want to look at the code, um, go to, go here, github.com forward slash my uh, username is Rambic and this is the repository there. Um, just have a look at it if you want to add something to it maybe uh, some ci cd stuff circle ci or whatever right uh, go ahead and uh, give me a pull request right so probably we can work together right <clears throat> so thank you for tuning in and you have a great one take care bye bye